Led by Hanscom's maiden ODI century, Kawaja's 91 off 99 balls and Ashton Turner's thundering 84 not out from 43 balls, the tourists replied with 6 to 359. Off 47.5 overs to toast their greatest run chase, the greatest by any team against India, and the fifth highest for any team ever. Usman Kawaha has been in strong ODI form recently. Credit. Apps win locked the series at 2-2 heading into the decider in Delhi on Wednesday. That the Australians have rebounded having lost the opening two games has reinforced a fight in this side that has been missing, at times, in a year when upheaval and introspection has been more of a game than the cricket itself, I think it's just about guys taking their opportunities when they have them. Which is all you can ask at this time, skipper Aaron Finch said. This latest victory also came with all-rounder Marcus Steenies on the sidelines with a broken thumb. Steenies has been a mainstay of a disjointed side but in his place up stepped Turner with some late power hitting, including 68 off his final 19 balls. David Warner was in blazing form on the weekend. Credit. Aptoaha still has work to do on rotating the strike but a made an ODI century in Game 3 in Ranchi and another big knock on Sunday now prompts the question of whether he should remain as Aaron Finch's opening partner, provided he retains strong form through the five-match series against Pakistan. Former Australian captain Mark Taylor, speaking on Channel 9 Sports Sunday, left Kawaha out of his World Cup 11, his overall record, one ton in. 25 Otis at an average of 39.36, strike rate 82.47 is respectable but could be better for a man of his talents. Loading the belief is that now he is fitter, has dropped weight and knows how to reach three figures, then more big scores will come. We will see. Finch found his groove with 93 in Ranchi but disturbingly was again bowled through the gate on Sunday for a second ball duck. However, there is more to his selection than runs, for as Taylor pointed out, he is a strong character, one Australia will need when Smith and Warner return. Hanscom remains an enigma, for he hasn't been able to lock in either a test or ODI spot but is the type of character, and talent, this team needs. Like Kawaha, he has a respectable ODI record, averaging 34.57 at a great clip of 98.57 runs per 100 balls. He is more than capable of filling the number 4 spot come England but runs against Pakistan will be needed to edge Smith. Loading Sean Marsh has long been locked in for the number 3 spot. Maxwell has gone from facing an uncertain future after last November's ODI series against South Africa to surely being a lock for a top five spot. He was used in a floating role on Friday, elevated to number three to maintain the rage after Kawaha and Finch had put on 193. He responded well, crunching 43 off 31 balls, helping his side score more consistently against spin. In Mohali, he was used at number 5 and had thumped 23 off 13 before he fell LBW attempting a switch hit, the type of dismissal we haven't seen from him for a while. Of course, Smith and Warner are capable of winning Australia a World Cup match. That's something Australia will have to consider come the tournament opener against Afghanistan on June 1st, when six wins from nine pool games will probably be needed to make the semi-finals. They will be in the squad but it can only be a good thing for Australia's World Cup defensive runs elsewhere mean their spots in the 11 are at least debatable.